To perform a bottle sampling, first we must identify the sampling valve that the sample is to be taken from. The recommended sampling point is the bottom drain valve. Once we have identified the valve, affix the sample bottle label to the sample bottle. Lay absorbent pads under the sampling point as required to prevent any spills or leaks from contaminating the ground. Place a container under the sampling point to capture any oil. Check that the main valve of the transformer is closed. Once we have done this, carefully remove the bolts and nuts from the blanking flange sampling port. Please note that there may be oil pooled in the sampling port that may drain from the sampling port when the sealing gasket is removed. We can now remove the sealing gasket and clean the sampling port with a clean rag. Install a flange adapter with an on-off ball valve tap and silicon tubing to the sampling port valve. Ensure that positive pressure is obtained. Proceed to flush the valve adapter and tubing with a half to a full litre of oil into the waste container. Place the tubing into the sample bottle. While holding the sample bottle at a slight angle to limit the aeration, partly fill the bottle. Gradually turn the bottle to allow the oil to swirl and warm the bottle. This helps prevent condensation. Discard the contents and repeat the process two to three times. Please note that the sample bottle is not to be shaken, as this introduces air and potentially moisture into the sample. Whilst filling the bottle, ensure that the tubing remains on the bottom of the bottle to prevent introduction of moisture and air bubbles. Fill the sample bottle, leaving approximately one inch of space at the top of the bottle to allow for expansion. Cap it immediately. If no further sampling is to be done, close the sampling port on the transformer. Open the blue valve to empty any remaining oil from the sample adapter. We then must unbolt and remove the adapter and tubing. Replace the blanking flange plate to the transformer. Thank you for watching. The next video in this series will demonstrate the method to obtain an oil sample using a glass syringe and stopcock.